Here is 911 Summer Drive. This has architectural shingles on the roof. One car garage. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Square footage is 1347, built in 1996. It is remodeled. There's fresh paint on the interior and new appliances. So we have a cul-de-sac type look here and then the entrance of the neighborhood is down this way. And then this is a loop. So one way in, one way out. We're right about on the property line here. So you can see it as a full brick ranch. Nice size lot. And there is a tree line right behind the house, which is really nice for privacy purposes. And then this is going to be right about the property line here. Nice long driveway. Looks like new shutters. We have this nice covered porch. And then we have this entryway right as we come in. There's a hallway here. It's got a plank floor. I'm not sure that that's luxury vinyl plank because they do have linoleum in the wet areas. Down this hallway, we have bedrooms. And if we keep going, we're going to walk right into the living area. So we have a nice long living room, vaulted ceiling. And if you wanted to, you could use half for a formal dining room and then the other half for living. We do have this breakfast area here, just off the kitchen. We have tile floor in here. Painted cabinets. Nice chair rail here in this dining area. Laminate countertops. pretty well. There's little things I'm seeing, like this cut's not quite right. There's a little gap here. So maybe this piece is short. And the paint over here, there's kind of some oil that's coming through or some stain. Otherwise, really not much. Everything looks fine. That's minor, honestly. And then we have this one car finished garage, so we've got um, mud tape and paint on the walls here. There's not a baseboard, but you do have a garage door opener. There's your electrical panel. you're going to be able to see it in the video, but it looks like the door might be offset just a little bit. Like it's higher um, on the right side up here. You can kind of see a gap where there's light coming through, so the seal is not correct. And it could be that the door just needs to be adjusted and it's something simple. I'm not sure. I'm not a contractor. I just noticed the light coming through and wanted to point it out. You can see the seal is new. That's placed. <laughs> Cat decided to come visit apparently. So you can see that fence line is going to be, that fence is going to be right about on the fence line. That's the neighbor's property. You could probably tie into it. And then of course you have all this greenery back here and this huge tree. The roof, the HVAC, the appliances, they all look new. Nice, maybe 10 by 10 patio here. So 
something that might come up as wood rot right down here. Sometimes we see that often, I should say, um, especially when it's not a covered porch. There's no spot for the deadbolt, but there's a deadbolt. So you can't deadbolt it the way it is. Obviously that's just something that needs to be fixed. So here we have the laundry closet. So here's your water heater tucked back here. You saw the electrical um, breaker box in the garage. Otherwise, here's your laundry. And then we have bedroom one, so it's new carpet. A small closet in this room I would say. So here's the floor and the bathroom. So as we come in here you can see that it's a wood look but it is linoleum like the rollout kind and then of course the this has not been updated. Bathtub shower combo. We have a single vanity but it is big enough to have two sinks if you chose. So you can see the change in the floor here. And then we have um, your interior portion of your HVAC here. Bedroom two is a little bigger than bedroom one. Closet's about the same. Looks like they're running some sort of cable through here. So smaller closets in these bedrooms. And just outside this bedroom, we do have the linen closet. Scuttle attic access. So it's not a pull down the stairs. You'd have to make your way up there. There shouldn't be much up there that you need however. And then the master, which is of course larger than the second. And it looks like there's a stain on the ceiling here. I think you can see it. It's like a shadow. It's very hard to see in person. I think it comes up a little bit more clear on the video. So a uh, similar situation as far as the bathroom goes on the opposite wall of the other bathroom. So you've got a single vanity sink here, painted cabinets, just like the kitchen in the other bathroom. Looks like there's room for a second sink if you chose. This one's maybe a little bit bigger. Then you have the tub shower combo. And then here we go. Here we go again, just a little, some gapping. You can see some patching on the walls that, you know, it's not terrible by any means. And then we're gonna go take a look at the closet space here. So very good size room, plenty of room for furniture, dressers, armoires, whatever. And then definitely decent size closet. So again, we're looking through the living area, and then we come out the front. And here's the view from the front porch.